October and uh, water levels in the area are quite high at the moment. I'm going to show you a few fishing methods uh, using your using the hands and um, this small landing net. The landing net has been set up with, in a stone wear with a stick supporting it so that it uh, doesn't go slide away. There's already gone at least one fish in uh, to the net. The idea is that when I fish the stream I'm, I will also scare quite a few fish into the net. Well, this didn't go exactly according to plan. The stick was somewhat weaker than I had expected. But I still caught four, four nice small brown trout. So, we'll empty the landing net and then start fishing in other ways. That's quite a bit extra efficiency added there. So the landing net is back in and uh, we'll work from the top to in case some fish evade, evades me. Um, I'm now going to try to show you tickling, tickling the fish. Trout tickling. is a little bit like children and uh, can believe that when you don't when they don't see you you don't see them at the moment I believe there might be one or more fish hiding under that bank there so I'll go on the other side and reach under with my arm stroke their back their belly with two fingers up to uh, until I can feel the gills and then I'll pinch and lift it up. Yep. It's kind of easier to do this without a camera. But I think I think I got it. This way you can 
go along streams at this time of the year and fish hundreds. Um, the last technique I'm going to show you now is just simply how to chase as many fish as possible down into the net. What you do is that you go around probe underneath all banks and most of the time they'll be inclined to go downwards. Well this one didn't. <laughs> This is pretty effective if you have one person above you ready to hit the fish as it comes out without hitting you of course and the net below. Fishing small sections is also better Here's the remnants of, a, of an old bear. If you fish sections, then you most likely get them all. This is more for demonstrational purposes. Oh, there's one. It seems like they're they prefer to turn around today. Oops. Yeah. That was just an extra opportunity. You don't strictly need the stick to catch the fish. You can also just use your feet and your hands with this stick. Make sure that you don't have to get quite as wet as if you use your your feet. Okay, yeah, I will lift, lift the bag up as quickly as possible, and there's a few more. Well, this is a highly effective primitive way of fishing. Making such a landing net takes virtually no time and if you don't have the time to do that you can still use the hand fishing methods which are extremely effective especially without the camera in your other hand. If you don't have too many fish you can just carry them on your fingers but uh, with this kind of amount uh, you'll run out of fingers. So I'm going to show you a way of making a very quick way of carrying them. These willows here are ideal. You choose a place where where the willow splits into two. Just break off and with this one no limbing is required. But it's a bit on the a bit on the long side 
So we'll um, we'll just break it off a little bit. There, that should be plenty sufficient for this amount of fish. So, what you do is that you thread the fish on through the gills and out the mouth. Fairly straightforward. Like this. And you can also thread on the other side. It's, it's quite a good idea to get some more balance into it. And if I chose to keep it long, I could also make a knot at the top. So it would be easier to carry. I won't bother showing you how to gut the fish this time. I will just show this very simple way of carrying. So that's it, 29 fish in short order. Five with a stick, one with a tickling, and the rest in the landing net. I hope you've been enjoying this as much as I have, or even more. Okay, bye bye. Thank you for watching.